Hey, hey, hey guys, it's good to see you all back on this YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while I've been here. Um, it's quite tough with this coronavirus, as you know, everything is closed. Uh, schools are closed. Um, you know, many workplaces are closed. You can't travel more than two kilometers outside your house, uh, even for work for some categories. So it's been, been, been a little bit tough the last, uh, last few weeks here in Ireland. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just want to speak about, you know, uh, what has happened to the Bitcoin in the, the um, last, last few weeks. And uh, many of you uh, are thinking it's dead again, uh, but it's not dead, it's still alive and it probably will be alive until internet exists. Um, so I just want to share my own thoughts. I'm not saying, you know, these are correct, but I just want to share some thoughts and facts, what's going on with the world, with the Bitcoin, and uh, you know, what's, what's my thoughts, what's possibly gonna, going to happen in the nearest future. Um, so yeah, it did have a very significant drop uh, there a couple, couple weeks ago. It wiped out all the gains it did uh, in January and February, wiped out, you know, 10,500 and down to lowest point, 3.8. Thousand um, US dollars for one Bitcoin, which was crazy cheap uh, and dropped in a matter of days and hours. Um, but not only Bitcoin did crash, the stock markets also did crash uh, a lot. Uh, S&P 500, Dow Jones, um, even gold and silver, oil. Um, and Bitcoin also followed um, by, by this, you know, where it's supposed to be. Many thought that Bitcoin is supposed to be a uh, safe uh, have an asset in the economy and economy crashes. Many of you think this is due to the coronavirus, but it's definitely not because, uh, you know, the economy crash, economy recession was already due. Uh, you know, there are many, many indicators uh, was predicting this, uh, that the economy crash is incoming. And by the way, the coronavirus was first, uh, uh, first uh, found out in China, I think it was uh, November or December 2019. But the stock markets kept pumping, pumping you know, all the uh, Dow Jones and uh, Tesla and, you know, mo most of the uh, uh, internet companies, um, the uh, stock market was pumping <laughs> crazy. I know also a good few crypto traders who started to trade stocks because of the stock markets pumping uh, very hard and and yeah, you know, the, they seen an opportunity to make some gains. And usually when everybody talks about it, you know, it's a good time to get out. But, you know, I just want to tell you that, you know, that the coronavirus was already there January, February, but it's still, stock market still kept pumping and then it dropped suddenly, you know. And this, this is where the uh, economy recession started. You know, a lot of people lost their jobs. Uh, they're sitting on a social welfare. The, you know, there's a lot percentage uh, of the people who is currently unemployed and this will probably um, only get a bigger and bigger because uh, I don't see this, this solution coming very soon. That being said, yes, everyone thought, you know, if such kind of economy crash happens, Bitcoin should, uh, um, you know, there should increase demand, there should be increased demand for Bitcoin, but it didn't happen. Um, I think it's only natural because there was a lot of uncertainty what's going to happen. Everything is crashing. People, uh, you know, want to want the cash, you know, cash is accepted everywhere. Um, they, they don't want to keep their funds in the banks also. They want a pure cash because, you know, the banks, um, because of such an economy crash, the banks also will get unstable, you know, and governments need to bail out um, them because there's not enough uh, money in the banks uh, to increase the liquidity. So, uh, you know, Bitcoin tanked as well a lot. You should look at 2008 economy crash. Um, it was, you know, n none of the economy crashes will be exactly the same, but you can look at the, and analyze, you know, to have an idea what could possibly go on. And for example, in 2008 housing bubble, um, um, governments needed to bail out the banks and all the stock markets was going down, you know, S&P 500, Dow Jones, they were going down for, uh, down in value for about two, about two years. 
at the start, also the precious metals like Bitcoin, sorry, the, the, the Bitcoin was not then uh, available yet, uh, but the, uh, the gold and the silver also was going down for only two months. But after that, it's, it was pumping very hard and gained about 300% while all the other, uh, like Dow Jones, was dropping for two years. Um, so people used gold as a safe haven uh, because it was a store value and there was a lot of uncertainty because the government was printing out um, more money um, to bail out banks. And this is potentially what could happen uh, also into the... Um, in this economy crisis, um, we had a big crash at the start and it could possibly recover. Um, we see not only also gold and silver already recovering, um, uh, possibly also Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a very good chance to prove itself. And it was made after, this is the reason why Bitcoin was invented. It was made after 2008 housing bubble uh, crash. It was invented to uh, be a safe haven uh, as a store of value. Uh, where to keep your uh, money and but at that time you know no m not many people knew about it um, now uh, a lot of people know about Bitcoin and it has the biggest opportunity to prove itself as a safe haven asset uh, what everybody want, likes to call it so it has a very big opportunity currently um, if it's not gonna prove in the ne next coming year or two itself uh, it's it, it might be a failure but I don't think it's you know that the fundamentals have not changed for Bitcoin and it always will be there. It is censorship resistant, it is transparent and it's immutable. These are the main features why everybody is excited about Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies also. So my thoughts, you know, what could happen with the Bitcoin price in the future? I do believe, you know, we, we might see a, a lower price, but not much lower and it's, you know, Bitcoin has this main event every four years, which is called Bitcoin halving. And uh, what Bitcoin halving does, it does r reduce the inflation by half every four years. So it's a deflationary, uh, basically Bitcoin is deflationary. As I said before, nothing historically, historically repeats itself. But in, his, 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 but in Bitcoin history, the halving usually has uh, brought in uh, massive price gains on the Bitcoin price. It's because of, it is simple economics. For example, if you have a supply of Bitcoin, yeah, now it's 12 and a half Bitcoin every 10 minutes and there's a demand and you don't see the price going up or down, it stayed still. There comes this point when the supply reduces to 6.25 Bitcoin every 10, 10 minutes and the demand doesn't change. You know, theoretically the price should go up. But we will see what's going to happen. I'm placing my bets that the price um, going up. I did buy a D dip uh, what uh, was on Bitcoin. And uh, I, I do believe, you know, we're still gonna have a good future for it. Be just because we have seen what's going on with the world. Just because um, the governments are bailing out these economy uh, crises. They are bailing out companies by printing out money. <coughs> they are sending people um, airdrops in USA, um, uh, free money. You know, what's the reason? Why would why would why do we why do we need to pay taxes at all? Because you know, government just could, could print out the money and you know give everyone for free. <coughs> but this this printing out the money, you know, uh, will will about this printing out the money will pay everybody, me, you, your, ch your children. You know, many people doesn't understand how the financial system works. Um, so I can give you one example. For example, um, you know, all the money what's available in US uh, is, let's say 10 trillion US dollars. And then this economy crash comes, comes out and you know, US government decides to bail out the Fed bail out uh, the US economy and prints another uh, 10 trillion. So now there's twice as much money into the market. And what happens if there's twice as much money, it's twice as big, much inflation. And, <coughs> excuse me, it's twice as much big inflation and you're actually losing, um, you, you, you're losing money. Um, you know, everything is, gets twice as more expensive. Many people doesn't notice that. But if you look back, for example, 
um, I don't know, 10 years ago. You could see that the bread you can buy and shop for 20 cents, where now it's one and a half euro here in Europe. Um, you can buy a, a, a liter of petrol in the 10 years ago for 50 cents. You know, there's, there's many, many more examples what I could give, but this is the, this is the reason why people doesn't think that they are paying, they are thinking the government is the good guy here and they are saving the companies. Actually, they are not. They are, uh, they are not saving. Um, another good example, if you have savings account and you have there, for example, 10,000 US dollars, when there is twice as much money in the market, you just lost that, you know, 10,000, you know, it's, it's half, half valuable already. So this is why Bitcoin, um, has fixed supply. Um, it's not the Bitcoin getting more expensive, it's the money, US dollar, it's the Euro, it's the British pound losing value. US can print six trillion US dollars in one day. Why Bitcoin market cap is only about 120 billion? You know, imagine it, if, if only one trillion was used to buy Bitcoin, what price would it be? So this only opens your eyes, you know, and sees how early are we in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Um, and I, I hope you did enjoy this, this video and, you know, found the value. Um, also, check it down description for some hints for our competition to win 10 Ethereum uh, to find the C key wallet address into the description, video description. Otherwise, mine hardcore or don't mine at all. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.